What is going on today guys? It's your boy Nyx Gaming coming back at you once again today with another old school RuneScape tutorial. We're going to be discussing the free to play quest Cook's Assistant, which is probably one of the first quests that you're going to complete here on old school RuneScape. Before we actually jump on in to any more about the quest, we want to invite you guys to come hang out and enjoy our old school RuneScape adventure along with us over on our Twitch page at Nix Official. Well, let's uh, talk about the kind of the quest now. So basically Cook's Assistant is going to be one of the first quests that you complete. And so because it's going to be that, chances are people watching this video are going to be fairly new to old school RuneScape. So we're going to be discussing thing pretty in depth about this uh this quest a little disclaimer this quest is a hundred percent iron man friendly so if you're an iron man feel free to watch this tutorial as well because this one is going to be for you and show you exactly where to get everything as well so i'm here in lumbridge i'll zoom out a little bit for you guys to see i'm here in lumbridge if you guys don't know how to get to lumbridge Again, for our new players joining us, watching us, you're going to cast this stunning spell by hitting your spell book and hitting the home teleport. And you'll teleport right to here. You're going to go inside the castle, of Lumbridge Castle, and then go check out and talk to the cook. I've already done this part, so I'm just going to explain verbally how to actually do this. And you're going to talk to him, you're going to ask him what's wrong, he's going to explain to you that there is a uh, cake that he has, a birthday cake that he has to bake for the duke or whoever it is. I don't even remember at this point. And you basically just have to collect all the ingredients for him. You have to ask him where all the ingredients are and you should have started the quest. Now before you take off from here, you're gonna wanna grab one of these pots that are sitting on the table in the kitchen. Zoom in a little bit for you guys to see. You're going to want to grab one of them. And once you have one of them, you're going to run out the door. And make your way up to Northern Lumbridge. So you're going to, your best bet is going to be to cross this bridge. And remember, we need to grab an egg, a bucket of milk, and a pot of flour. All of which can be found right here in Lumbridge very easy if you want to take your time you can actually attack these goblins and go ahead and get a bucket but if you want to basically cut time off you're gonna run up here to the milk churning place and there should be a bucket right on in there unless someone has grabbed it and then it's just gonna be straight up annoying So here's our eggs, but I just ran all the way around by mistake because the gate was closed. So make sure you open the gate first, guys. That's step number one, is opening that gate. And then you can go ahead and take the egg that you need. And now at this point, we're out of run, which we super apologize. And there's that bucket that I was talking about. So you're gonna walk on into this door and I'll show you exactly on the mini map when we get inside here. And you can go ahead and take the bucket. And there we go, we're probably like a third of the way through already. So on the mini map, if I open it up, it is right up here. Pretty much right where you go off and keep going north to Varrock, it is right here. Now, we're going to have to go across to the cows and get ourselves some milk. We have to fill this bucket. That can be done right in here by finding a dairy cow. And we'll go ahead and milk the dairy cow, but the gate is closed. So, of course, we need to open the gate once again. And there we go, we open the gate, and then we can go and milk 
the dairy cow. Now we have our bucket of milk, our egg, all we need now is flour. And I'll show you exactly on the mini map where we are here, we're right here. So the egg we got from up here, the bucket we got from up here, the pot we got from over in Lumbridge Castle if you guys remember, the milk we had to come over here, milk the dairy cow. Now we're gonna have to go all the way up to the mill. Which is somewhere here, I think it's, a, yeah, it's up here. So we're gonna need to cross back over the bridge and hop on over onto the other side. This would be a lot easier to do if we had full run, but of course we don't. Cause this is a, like I said, pretty much a brand new account. I literally just made it last night and I decided, you know what, I haven't done this quest on here so we might as well do it. So once again, we're going to just continue to these fields and head off up to where it's labeled the windmill. But before we actually reach there, there is a field that we're going to have to pick some things from and go up and crush it to make that flower. Good old wheat. So here's that cr crusher thingy maneuver and here is that wheat. So we need to go find the gate which is right here and we're gonna go ahead and open the gate. Pick one is all it's gonna take. Just one wheat is fine. All right, we got our wheat. Now we can go ahead and go back up to the mill and go up the ladder to the very, very top floor. And climb up, and there we go. Now we can just fill the hopper. And then after the hopper is filled, we can climb down the ladder back down to the very first floor. And, oh, I lied guys, I'm a, I'm a big fat liar. I'm sorry. We gotta pull the lever first. I always forget about this stupid lever. And I, I completely apologize for that. So first, you fill the hopper, you pull the lever, then you go down the stairs. And here we go. Then we can take our flour. All right guys, we got all three ingredients. We got the milk from the cows. We got flour from here. We got the eggs from the chicken. We're set to pretty much just go right back to Lumbridge Castle and finish off this quest. Remember guys, if you are new around here and you do want to see more of these this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page as well as drop a like on this video as well. I'm sorry about continually running out of the run here, but that is okay. And once we're back at the castle, we'll just go ahead and talk to the cook again and be able to pretty much finish the quest right from there. He's going to thank us, be all filled with joy and happiness and a lot of emotions that no one feels anymore. No, I'm kidding. Blends so well in with his floor, though. There we go. And we give him all of the ingredients. He thanks us oh so very much. 
and that is that quest complete you get one quest point and 300 cooking experience not that great but pretty decent considering how easy it actually is all right guys if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of this kind of content make sure to like this video follow us over on our twitch page and check out our streaming schedule youtube schedule and so forth over on our website until next time guys take her easy peace